is use not. Hello everybody, with welcome Alex. back with me, Alex Sayer. So, we're coming to the end of British Game Week. I think for most of us it's British Game Week every week. We've also got Basque talk out about cancelling their legal insurance. I've got some news for the CLA for you, remember them. Um, we've also got a bit from the GWCT, but first let's jump straight into the guns. Now, I thought I'd start doing Gun of the Week. Um, in fact, it was recommended that I do Gun of the Week. But the problem with that is I just can't decide. But Gun of the Week this week has to be the Brown and Crown. They are difficult to get hold of. They are beautiful. I've got a full review coming out on it, so do like and subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Keep an eye out for it because it's coming out very, very soon. But here is the Browning Crown. Thank you to Stickers for filming this. Take a look. This is the height of luxury in today's Browning. I didn't know whether to mention the price at the beginning or at the end. I'll tell you now, they're £5,250, but with the £200 cash back available from Browning until the 15th of December, plus the £50 off I'm going to give you, you're looking at £5,000 for a Browning crown, which will last generations. As I say, this is Browning's flagship premium model. There's so many good guns out there. I love the choice and variety and care that the manufacturers put into all the various makes and models that they do. It really is a buyer's market. And I would recommend anybody, go to Premier Guns and just have a browse around and see what there is. You'll be absolutely astonished at the variety. And you'll learn a lot too. You know, I learn something every time I go in that shop. It's a, it's a great place to be. I love the new layout. And yeah, it, it's really an eye opener. You remember last week we had the Coyote <laughs> fur. They've also done a cork one. This is a BPS, Browning pump shotgun. This is in a 20 bore, and this has got Hydro Dip as well. Just makes it more durable, but whatever you need a, whatever you need a pump action for. Um, that's quite nice. And that's coming in at just 795, and remember, you can have 50 pounds off, so that takes you to 745 for a 20 bore pump action. One of a kind, one of a kind. Yeah, there's not another one of these. Although we may have started a trend, you know, let's not count that out for the future. But certainly today, there isn't another one of these in the country. So I'll put a link in the description, click below and get ready for the full review of the Browning Crown. Last week's 690 field gun is still available. That's ideal for shooting walked up and all the rest of it. We did a big talk about that. It's a lovely little game gun. And speaking of game, as I say, it is coming to the end of Great British Game Week. I have seen my social media absolutely flooded with everybody really spreading the message, which is great, you know. And I think most of us tend to anyway. We have our favourite dishes that we just hark back to. It's handy to share with people. And once they've tried it, you know, they're hooked because it has... Well, firstly, it's simple. It has a bit of a kind of medieval, upper-class kind of a feel to it as well. It's pretty much readily available, and we all know it is the most sustainable, natural, organic food that you could ever put in your bodies. So, one thing I do try and do is if ever I'm passing a butcher's and they have game, I go in and buy it. Because that's what you need. You need people to go into the butcher's and buy it. Now, we're very lucky because we get a lot of it for free, because we're in the industry and we're shooters. But really, we need to be going to our local butcher's, buying it there, cooking it up, and tagging your local butcher. That's what it's all about, really. We need it going into the food chain, so let's support it from the bottom as well, eh? The world is becoming more conscious of what they eat, and they will soon be following in our footsteps. And I need to give a huge congratulations to the CLA for winning this award, which I hadn't heard of before. They've won it for their lobbying, for something called the Rural Powerhouse. Which of course I've heard of before, but I didn't know that the CLA were behind it. Here they are, look. Now, these awards are full of financiers, city slickers, you know, surveying types. So, 
it's really great that the countryside is leading the way there. They had all kinds of different categories, and they actually also won a silver for their newsletter, which I will be signing up to. And for those of you that signed up to Basque and have now left, there's promising news for your return. Now, a lot of you weren't happy because they cancelled the legal insurance, okay? That's, that's one of the things which has made people unhappy. A lot of people didn't ring you. Well, Gareth Doherty has um, come forward and he said a few words um, about this, which we're going to look at in a second. Now, Gareth has um, he's impressed me quite a bit in the past, actually, because he pointed out, quite rightly, that any recommendations made by Natural England are simply that, you know, they're just a recommendation. He was on stage with Ian Bell when they were talking about their um, taking DEFRA to court. So let's just have a quick look at that, that Basque are doing. We've already had a significant effect um, because this is unprecedented. We have not done this before. We as BSC or we as a sector in this way. And what are you up against? So the government have quite a lot of powers with regards to disease, etc., um, in order to curtail our activities. We saw that with COVID, and we see that with AI. And our judicial review is based around uh, a democratic right for, wherever possible, appropriate engagement and appropriate notice. And we have commitment from the last time something similar happened in writing from the government that we would be both engaged with and we get the right sort of notice. And in this case, we can demonstrate that we didn't. And so we are exercising our democratic right, using the BSC fighting fund, in order to spend, as you suggest, an awful lot of money challenging the government on this. We want to send a message way beyond this government. We want to send a message to the devolved governments, to the civil service and any future government that we, we matter. And you can't deal with us like this because we have rights. I mean, they do mean business. Uh, there's, there's no sort of... You couldn't describe that as being wishy-washy, could you really? And Basque are also considering taking legal action against the Welsh Government over their plan to licence the release of game birds. Now, you'll recognise this image because this is what encouraged us to respond to the public consultation of the proposal to license the release of game birds in Wales. 42,000 of us responded to that, and just over 5,035 of you, in fact it was exactly 5,035 of you, clicked on my link to take you to that uh, consultation. So thank you very much for that, thank you. Now, let's go back to the image. You'll see this little logo here for the Fighting Fund, which started in 2020. Here's what they said about it at the time. They say it's going to allow us to further our aims and lead from the front when presented with opportunities and when facing down legal challenges. And it also says for shooting to be heard and represented effectively in court, it must have an ability to fund legal action thanks to the generosity of our members and sound financial management, Basque has the means to do so. So basically, they've dropped, they dropped the legal side of things, but they ring-fenced like a million pounds, a seven-figure number, we don't know exactly how much it was, for these kind of cases. They also took on a full-time environmental lawyer, which is very important. And you'll notice in that first statement it actually says opportunities. Okay, so we don't quite know what they are, but yeah. So if you have left Basque and were never thinking of returning, do, because we may be in a better position now. This could work out even better for us. They are doing some great stuff. They are fighting behind the scenes, as well as being on the front line at nearly every single show um, in the summer. If you're still not keen on Basque, I do have a backup plan for you to support shooting, but for now, let's take a look at Gareth's statement. This is in his own words. Let's see what he says. Okay, so it says that Basque's uh, legal expense insurance only considered the cases of around one in every 2,000 members. Okay, it was a comfort blanket, blah, blah, blah. What do we get? Okay, so the fighting fund is available to help individual members. It says each case that is brought forward is taken on its individual merits. However, we're broadly looking for a case that has a likelihood of winning. And by the end of this year, that's been used for 40 cases already. So I don't know the details of what they are. Um, 
you know, let me know if you know, or if you've been happy with it, or if you've experienced it. But they also point out, Gareth also points out, that as a BAS member, you've got unlimited access to the dedicated firearms team. And I can tell you that last year they responded to 10,000 firearms inquiries. Come on. So you are getting quite a lot for your money there. And they take around 140 a week, which is, which is a lot, isn't it? It's 20 a day, really. They must be very, very busy indeed. So a thank you to Basque for all your hard work with that. And hopefully this just serves as a reminder. I'll put a link in the description for you if you do want to rejoin and help them with these uh, legal challenges and everything else that they're doing. But yeah, watch out for that little logo because, because that's what that means. So, for those of you that aren't interested in joining Basque and don't want to contribute to um, the shootings, legal help and all the rest of it, then there's the GWCT. Now, they've started a, what I would describe as a slightly aggressive looking campaign. Have a look at this. Help us protect our countryside and its wildlife from further harm. Right, they want £60,000, which is doable, it is doable, but why? Let's look. They want to write up and publish our study into the relationship between game bird releasing and fox numbers. They want to study other impacts of game management, including changes to red kite, buzzards and brown hair populations. They also want to publish a study of game birds on non-release sites. And here we have it. This is what they want to do. And the, the GWCT have produced papers before which have been relied on by Natural England, which we've all used, which are very, very good. They're led by the science, which is a big thing right now. Should have been bigger in the past. Let's have a look at this statement. They want to write a definitive policy briefing on why UK wildlife depends on game bird management and they want to share it with policymakers, environmental charities and the wider public and I think that is something which really needs supporting. I'll put a link in the description for you for that. You do get shooting insurance with the GWCT. You can go to their gift shop, do whatever you need to do, buy their Christmas cards if they haven't sold out already. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a brilliant week coming up. I hope that your local Remembrance Sunday service goes very well and without a hitch indeed. And please keep an eye out for the Browning Crown video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know anything else you want to know in the comments below. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye-bye. Proudly sponsored by Premier Gun.